Hello to everyone, this is Vishal. Now we have another tutorial of a Kotlin, how we can use the bottom navigation view in a Kotlin. So this is my third tutorial of a Kotlin. And uh, if you see my previous tutorials in which I already described to you that uh, how use the event and uh, how we can create a, a list view on the Kotlin. And here uh, today I'm trying to show to you that how we create a bottom navigation view so bottom navigation view is just simple in which we are on the bottom menus and we can click on particular fragment and can access it so the main motive of uh, this uh, session today that's how we can use the fragments in your a uh, kotlin so uh, first uh, we have to start it and see uh, on Android Studio, how we can access it. So go to the file new and say new project. And in new project, you have to say uh, bottom navy tutorial. So and you must be include the Kotlin support because of without it, it never converted the Java into Kotlin. So that means we have a uh, next next just you can see that this is your bottom navigation activity so next and this is your finish so it take hardly one or two minutes to complete it once the uh, its build be completed then I will describe to you how we can use it so yeah that's fine still the grid and uh, grid will be running just for a minute we are to it i think it's so easy to use but in many apps we uh, are working with this bottom navigation view but those who want to work with the kotlin it's a, a very good choice and maximum in your apps you are using that so if you learn the kotlin once that means it's a very easy language and you can uh, make apps easily on it and uh, uh, in the future if you know the data binding with the kotlin so that means the apps be very less code in that and we can make our apps uh, very good apps on that okay so yeah this is completed now uh, we have two uh, changes on this activity main okay one thing you have to see that here we have a main activity in the form of dot kt extension that means it is your kotlin extension so here uh, i have to change this layout i don't want the constant i want a relative layout so i want some few changes in it match parent and these margins and these things be we have to and uh, uh, just tag size because of i want to be the little more that is a 30 db and gravity be your center that's enough and the top of the parent must be true okay so this is our bottom navigation so i want some changes in it also first i made to make a match parent and uh, i don't want with the margin start or these things and yeah rest of the things we have to delete <coughs> and say it a uh, bottom parent be true that's easy so these are design once we check this design yeah that's good so these are a simple view and uh, now that's the most important part that how we use the fragment in it okay and um, we'll create a fragments in it so go for your fragment first blank fragment and give the name as a fragment one 
and don't want with the methods i just show to you how we use the fragment or how we can use the support fragment manager in it okay so this is our first fragment be ready because of it converted the java fragment into the kotlin file so there is a uh, so the build gradle is running to convert these files be here okay so this is your first fragment and the same i have to create a second fragment that is your fragment fragment blank fragment and that's we don't we include in it and that is your fragment two and this is your fragment two we have to finish it okay and uh, the same thing we have to work with your third fragment and your third fragment be uh as in a blank fragment and say this is your fragment three do not include these things just simple fragment okay so our three fragments be ready so first uh, you see that convert java to kotlin on my screen okay so you, first we have to go for your fragment one and here i need to change the color of this so we can see the discrimination of these things so we have to say the background color uh, green so alt enter and put this resource i have some colors be here so so can see the changes okay so these are green color now on your fragment 2 you have to make a background color red shade and on the red shade i have to put the second color b as a say okay this is our red sheet now we go for our third part third fragment sorry so in which i have to make it as a blue and in the blue put the value be here okay so these are these three be ready so can see the changes how we can call in it now we'll go for the main activity now the main work we start here so in this main activity first we have to say that well that means we have to give the well to our manager and this is a uh, Sorry, we have to give the support uh, just a minute to show to you here yeah so it's showing to you that is the support fragment manager interesting so this is our manager it just be there as the simple fragment manager in your Java here we have a support fragment manager okay now we have to go for uh, on create and in on create i just simply say uh, uh, or do one thing uh, you have to create a separate function for this so we can call it here on your function because of your three different values be here so I, i'm i'm making a three different values today and in the future i will show to you how you can pass the fragments at a runtime but it here it is a create fragment one this is our first method and in this method whenever you work with this here we have a use the function that is your fun and here you can say it it is a your well transaction b as a manager dot it show to you begin transaction 
so easy so that means we have to start our transaction here and well fragment b as a what we do in our java that is fragment new fragment so here we have to work is as a simple fragment one okay and the fragment one b that means you calling the constructor and transaction dot we have to replace or add so here i am replacing so that means we have to replace the fragments and that is r dot id dot on the particular fragment holder so that is your fragment is their holder uh, where is our main resource be there layout yeah so we have to put these fragments in your main activity so do one thing between your text view and bottom view we have to create a linear layout match parent wrap contents and in which we have a fragment sorry it's a fragment holder and set this orientation as in a vertical so that means whenever we our uh, fragment be at a runtime be inserted so that means it replace it on your fragment holder so go for again on this main activity and say fragment holder be here and comma that's be your fragment okay so that's working so this is our transaction in which we are fragment we replaced which we have to replace then we have put it runtime so there uh, we have a transaction dot add to backstack uh, that is at this time i don't want be nothing so say null and now our transactions be complete that means it's a commit so that's our first function for create fragment one and the same thing at this time we have to copy because of i just making a simple for you uh, we'll show you how can call all the fragments using the single function but at this time we just practice on using these three separate function and here you have to call the fragment 2 and here you have to call the fragment 3 so these 3b we have to call it in a runtime that's fine and uh, default we call this fragment 1 on your create and here when you call this id you have to create the fragment 1 when you call this navigation you have to create a fragment 2 when you call the third one you have to create the fragment 3 okay so the rest of the changes just like uh, icons and other things we can replace it easily in a kotlin and uh, yeah so today just see that how it works so for this we have to start our journey motion once it runs then we'll see what happen in it and how it works be there yeah run this okay let's see what happen in it uh this is an emulator yeah it's cool it's your home dashboard your notifications so these kind of things we are you can change these icons and glow bar colors also so i think it's so easy how to call the fragments in your kotlin so for this some few need we need a support fragment manager then we go for 
begin transaction call the fragment put it in holder and you commit it so it's so easy so uh, rest of the things of um, how we can implement other things in your fragments also we can call it on your other tutorial of a kotlin tour so that is a third tutorial it's just a small video to show to you how you can uh, fragment work in in the kotlin so thank you so much and we have to wind up for the day thank you